Stop looking at my ass! <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home. I'm Annie Gilroy. Oh, Annie Gilroy. Now, Annie Gilroy, I noticed when I came out tonight that you were sitting in a lesbian row. <laughs> so will my mom. <laughs> what, Sorry, what? Mom. <laughs> what? Did you just say hi, Mom? <laughs> Now that I'm in lesbian row. Oh, I, oh, well, that's why it was my next question was, oh. are you an actual lesbian? Or did you just pretend to be one to get a good seat? To get a good seat? Yeah, see, this is, this is happening a lot now. A lot of people are coming here pretending to be lesbians just to get a good seat. Well, look, <laughs> knock it off. Seating. We put aside special seating for genuine lesbians. <laughs> Not some any come lately. <laughs> By the way, any come lately is the name of a movie. In a... <laughs> anyway, uh, so what do you do? What's your what's your business? State your business. I like art. I'm an artist. Oh, I paint. That's lovely. What kind of do you paint? I paint. Oh, Nice. I paint faces. You paint faces? Yeah. What? Yeah, at Renaissance fairs? <laughs> no, on canvas. Oh, on canvas. Not on the actual face, then. <laughs> not on the... I feel such a <laughs> fool. <laughs> anyway, Annie, I want you to spread the word amongst the uh, heterosexual community that lesbian rose seats are for genuine lesbians only. Fair enough. And uh, th this goes the same for gay men. Gay men, you get special seating here, right down to the front. <laughs> the last, I don't want men coming here pretending to be gay just so they can get a good seat. <laughs> which I suspect would happen less. <laughs> The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Expedia, where you book matters. Thanks a lot. Oh, how abruptly it seemed to have stopped. <laughs> it was almost as if you were being sarcastic. <laughs> oh, we're so excited to get on with it. <laughs> it's cold in here tonight, isn't it? Ooh, I know. Yeah, look at my nipples. I know. <laughs> All six of them. <laughs> It's a great day for America, everybody. It is. It's a great day for uh, for the lovable pint-sized nut job Kim Jong Il of North Korea. His birthday today, is 70 years old. Uh, oh, you're always right. Yeah, yeah. You odd Kim Jong Il. Yeah, you should have been here for Hitler Day. 
<laughs> 70 years old, but he doesn't look a day over crazy. Do we have a, a picture of Kim Jong-il? There he is, look at that. Yep, that's that angry little lesbian right there. Look, 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 look. Come on, Kim, cheer up, it's your birthday. <laughs> It was a great day if you're into fashion, a great, a great week if you're into fashion. Right now in New York, it's Fashion Week, which is like Shark Week for gay dudes. Fashion Week... <laughs> fashion Week and Kim Jong-il's birthday at the same time? Coincidence? <laughs> no! What says fashion like a lesbian in a sand-coloured pantsuit? <laughs> Do we got a graphic for Fashion Week? We should have, shouldn't we? Yeah. There you what go. What says fashion like a lesbian? I don't know if you were probably too dazzled by the graphic, but I also heard me, the echo of me. Uh, did you hear the echo playing over that? Yeah. That's great. CBS cares. <laughs> Just not about this show. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's now they're doing repeats of the show while I'm actually doing a real show. I'm doing a show and they're broadcasting a repeat at the same time. <laughs> oh, I got some mouthy lesbians in lesbian room. It's all that, it's all that Kim Jong-il talk got them all riled up. <laughs> anyway, New York City, it's going crazy this week, uh, Fashion Week. They're saying that Manhattan hasn't been packed with this many emaciated muzzles and bitchy men and piles of cocaine since, <laughs> since last week. <laughs> New York City, of course, considered one of the four uh, fashion capitals of the world. You get New York City, Paris, London, Fresno. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, no one cares about London. <laughs> anyway, fast, you know, Fashion Week makes me feel old. I don't know if it's the 19-year-old the girls modeling the clothes or the 24-year-old uh, designers designing the clothes or the 12-year-old Chinese kids stitching the clothes, but it all seems to be about young people. <laughs> I wish I was in New York for Fashion Week, though, not because of the fashion shows, because it's raining here in L.A., and when it rains here, I'm reminded that weather is really the only thing this city has got going for it. <laughs> Tell you, it's true. It rains here, and you go, this place? It's, I'll tell you, without sun, without sun, L.A. is just Fresno with bigger boobies. <laughs> Anyway, during Fashion Week, I always feel sorry for the runway models, because it's a tough job, you know, walking up and down, turning around, walking back again. <laughs> it's really, it's dangerous as well. Look at this, look, look at this clip. <laughs> no, that's bad. No, that's bad. No, 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 that's bad. It's bad. But that, that's bad enough, the, the, the loss of dignity these poor people are feeling. But what if we did the same thing that we did for the Westminster Dog Show, that we added comedy sound effects to the model's indignity? <laughs> Take a look at this. See, the thing was, they couldn't hear the comedy sound effects, so it was just watching the same <laughs> twice, really. <laughs> you know what we should do? Play in an echo of me behind it, and then that would work. Do you know what I think is funny about that, though? That when they've got the big pendulum that hits the model, what genius said, OK, so the catwalk's going to be up and down here, and a big pendulum's going to be sweeping, <laughs> sweeping. It's going to be so dramatic. <laughs> Anyway, this week in New York, Victoria Beckham put on a big fashion show. Apparently, she is a clothing line now. And this is true. Audiences actually laughed at some of her designs. Aww. I know. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, you kind of lost your awe credibility when you awed Kim Jong-il. <laughs> but that being... 
being said, I still think it's cruel to laugh at Victoria Beckham's designs. Uh, afterwards as well, people heard a, a woman backstage sobbing from disappointment, and then Victoria told De David to cheer up. <laughs> oh, they were so cruel, so cruel. Oh, I broke my leg. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like that rabbit on that show. No, no, no I don't. I get that a lot, actually. I've got a limited repertoire of voices. Anyway, commercial break time, Jeff, I think. Ka-ching, break time. Ka-ching? Yeah, yeah, are you getting some kind of skim off the top of this? Are they giving you money as well for the commercials? Because I'm not getting any money. So cold. <laughs> Is that code for something? Balls. Ah. Pretty much everything you say is code for balls. Why don't you say uh, in your pants anymore? I used to like it when you said that. My suit smells like ass. <laughs> ah. 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 Well, that's uh, mine too, actually, I've got to be honest. I think, <laughs> I think it's kind of a theme for tonight. Anyway, uh, here's the commercials. When we come back, uh, it'll be mostly technically correct. <laughs> Calm down, it's just the same old crap. Don't be kidding. <laughs> like, oh, it's so different tonight. It's no different tonight. I'll read the emails and I'll do my best and you'll go, boy, poor bastard struggling, but... <laughs> but, you know, he's just trying to make a buck just like everybody else. We shouldn't judge him so harshly. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Uh... Some tweet mails would hit the spot. Which spot would they hit, Jeff? In your pants. Oh! Yes, play it! Euro crashes and Euro litter. Get on the dance floor and shake your Twitter. Bum, 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 bum. Check the tweets. Plus emails. Secretariat was going to come out, but it seems that every now and again, usually when you've got something to plug, you turn up behind the horse. He pooped me out. Oh. <laughs> Hooray. Are you all right? I am. This is a really good seat. I must be a huge lesbian. That's what I figured out. Yes. Couldn't, couldn't have said it more accurately myself, Chris. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm doing the tweets and the email. You'll just have to give me a hand then. Yes, of course. Oh, I'm, look, the... Uh... <laughs> Don't do that. We've got writers for that kind yes, of stuff. Yes, I'm sorry, you're right. What's that on your shirt? you got a squirrel on your shirt. It's Is it a, something about hiding nuts? Is that it's the joke? A, well, it? that's, it's a Rorschach test. Now I know what you're thinking about. It's, uh... <laughs> It is a, it's a little squirrel playing uh, some sort of weird football with an acorn, which is adorable, so I put it on my body. Are you, uh, because I am a huge lesbian. Yeah, I know. There you go. Let it go. All right, we're doing the emails, right? You're going to knock I, it off, fake lesbians. It's my... I, I have to say, today is my girlfriend Janet's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Janet. I, I would love to take home a pack of lesbians to her. Would that be... Hey, 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 hey. Right. First of all, they're not real lesbians. Oh. Second of all, second of all, pack is not the collective noun for lesbians. Is it a gaggle? No, it's not a gaggle. It is a throw cushion. Ah, a throw cushion, a throw cushion of lesbians. A, lesbian. a, throw, a murder of lesbians. No, not a murder. No, it's not. 
All right, this is from Seth in Seattle, Washington. Yes, sir. He says, Dear Craig, and Chris, I actually says... It does say and Chris, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend surprised me by booking a hotel and reserving badges for Comic Con for my birthday. Yes. I should marry her, right? Yes! <laughs> really? <laughs> all right, all right. You Has do... Janet, your girlfriend, ever got you tickets for Comic Con? Uh, Janet, my girlfriend, uh, got me uh, toys from the movie Tron. Mm. So, uh. That sounds like a proposal to me, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> the guy. Yeah, not so smug now, are you, yeah. Mr. Squirrel wearing, saying rude things about I, uh, stuff? I had to show her my light cycle. That's all I'm saying. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. This is from Ali in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. All right. It says, Dear Craig, I'm getting married this summer. Do men view their girlfriends differently once they marry them? Absolutely not. No. 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 Absolutely oh, God, not. You're never. talking about it. An institution of. Oh, are you okay? Are you yeah, okay? I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. It's okay. Do you need a hug? No, no, no. I'm okay. No, there is exactly the same. It's just a. It's just a ceremony. It's just about you still be the great friends you always were. <laughs> <laughs> By friends, you mean you don't uh, have sex. Right. Right. I. F I. I don't know because uh, Jan and I. We've we've been together for six and a half years. We're not married. I. I feel like marriage is like a prison, but without all the sex. Is that about right? Does no, that no, 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 no. No, that's not true. Actually, I've been married now for a couple of years yeah. and uh, we still have sex uh, not with each other no but, uh, no listen yeah you got busy lives yeah no no we just uh, how are you in there i'm good i'm good <laughs> No, no, we do, we do, we do. You said, look, mind your own business. Okay, right, right. sorry, sorry. Um, this is uh, from Stephen in Lafayette in Louisiana. You ever been to Louisiana? I have been down to Louisiana. Yes, it's a lovely country it's down, nice down there. Nice down there. Very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. What the hell's going on with you I right now? Don't, no, I, I'm do. I'm all excited because there's a big Doctor Who convention this yes, weekend. Yes, it is. Gallifrey. Gallifrey one. Yeah, I'm going to Gallifrey one this yeah, weekend. Listen, let me. I'll get you in the mood. Hold on. Yeah. So uh, you're, you, you're going. Oh, oh yeah, I'm we going. sending you. Yes, you're, you're sending, sending me you. to Gallifrey One. Yeah, it, Gallifrey One is a convention in L.A. for people who really enjoy Doctor Who. All the cool kids will be there. <laughs> let, me, let me finish that sentence. Uh, all the cool kids will be down at the uh, L.A. airport Marriott. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's where it's been. That's where it's been. Peter Davison's going to be there. The fourth doctor? The fifth doctor. Fifth doctor. Yes, the Damn. fifth doctor. Oh, 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 it's all man. right. It's all right. Do not send a email, all right? Oh, it won't be one. It was a genuine mistake. Leave me alone! He's very stressed out right now. Yes. All no, right, then. Uh, All right, right. So you're looking forward to it? Then? I am looking forward to it. You have to be careful it. for, uh, you know, crazy people down there. No, it's going to be fine. Okay. It's going to be fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dress up like uh, the 10th Doctor. I got my suit all picked out. <laughs> I am surprised that Janet hasn't left me yet, now that I'm talking about that. I'm surprised. Yeah, you, you'll be all right, then. You'll fit right in. Uh, anyway, this is uh, from Lafayette. It's uh, okay. Stephen. He says, Dear Craig and Chris, can I back up more than one machine to a single external hard drive? That's one for you, Chris. <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, you could put, yes, you could network the hard drive. You could network the hard drive through your router. Uh, oh, Craig, wake up. Craig, wake up. It's Wednesday. Oh, oh it's sorry, Wednesday. Sorry, sorry. You lost a year. All right, sorry, sorry. So, no, funny, funny for you, so give you advice. Yes, you can must network. Must punch you, must <laughs> punch you. you get, that's how he gets around nerdy talk. I uh, must beat you up. Uh, I will punch you. <laughs> now, can you, though, do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, can, you can network your hard drive. You can set it up to your home router, and then that way you could actually back things up. <laughs> You'd actually back things up wirelessly. And if you get the IP address, you could back things up from remotely. All right, this is from Hope in Austin in Texas. Uh, Hope says, hey, Craig, is it weird if guys wear makeup? <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> kind of. You're wearing quite a lot of makeup tonight. Well, or else you've been in I the wanted sun. to be pretty for you. Well, <coughs> well, let me just say, you look adorable. Oh, I feel very good. It's, I, you know, I've been coming on the show for about six months now, and it's gotten to the point where the security, when I drive, they're like, come on through. And I even, I even brought you, Craig writes you a card every time you do the show, and this one, <laughs> this one just says, you, again. <laughs> and that makes me feel like I'm part of the family. It's You're a part of the family. I love yeah. it. You know, you know that, that when the family gets together and there's the crazy younger brother who's a disappointment to everyone? Yes. That's you. Oh. You're 
<laughs> Let's all go gambling. All right. So see? Is what? This is from Lisa and Alpha Alpharetta in Georgia. Okay. All right. She says, Dear Craig and Jeff. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, I write an email almost every night and you never read them. Should I give up? Oh, keep trying. Uh, <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. This is from D in Los Angeles in California who says, uh, Dear Craig, my friend says role-playing during a romantic evening is like cheating. I say she's nuts. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> if by role-playing does he mean, oh, your sister's going to pretend to be you. Yeah, that's, that's definitely cheating. That's, that's cheating. That's definitely cheating, yeah. <laughs> that's probably... Or do they mean like Dungeons and Dragons role-playing? Dungeon, no, Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons role-playing isn't a romantic evening. Right there, you've taken the romance out of the evening by adding your nerdy ridiculousness that you've put in. Do you still play that game? Yeah, I played, um, I, I was in a group with a bunch of comics, uh, guys like Pat Oswalt and Brian Posehn and Blaine Kapach and I all played Ooh, as a the, group. The outlaws. Yeah, the yeah. outlaws, the nerdy outlaws. We played a, as recently as a couple years ago, but then everyone got busy. Uh -huh. And because you don't, but the thing is, with a D&D &D group, you don't want to be the guy that can't D &D? show up. D&D? D&D &D group? Dun Dungeons uh, and yeah, Dragons. Yeah, 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 I know. It's Dungeons and Dragons. Don't say D&D. D &D. Don't, bring, don't bring your phony, cool abbreviations <laughs> all right, in here. All right. It's called D&D. D&D. Oh, D&D. What up, D&D? Don't you D&D me. Hey! I, I was a fifth level lawful good wizard named Blavidane. All right, that's fine. Blavidane? It was David that Blaine. That sounds like a topical it, cream. I, it was, you know what? <laughs> uh, you want to get some Blavidane on that? <laughs> I will tell you, I will tell you that it, it more appropriate what you said. I named the wizard Blavidane because David Blaine was up to some ridiculous, I'm going to sleep oh, in ice yeah, stunt or something. Yeah, 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 and yeah. so I was like, ah, I'm going to make fun of him. So my wizard was his name back yeah. re reverse. You taught him. I should. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> Take well, that, Blaine right Dane. Uh, take that, David Blaine. I'll take you down in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah. I, I just bored myself. All right, all right. That's I just all right. bored it's myself. Right. It's good. The good news is it's yeah. commercial break time. Well, Gallifrey won this weekend, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's, but a lot of people aren't into Doctor Who. I know that seems odd to you. And I don't understand us. what you're saying. Yeah, These yeah, words no, make no sense to me. Well, listen, you're American, Chris. You can teach people. Well, I'm American, too, but you're an, a natural-born American. Yep. Yeah, well, you can teach people about uh, Doctor Who, and they can go along and see you wear the, the Marriott next to the, the airport. airport. Yep, <laughs> next to the Marriott. Where all the Nothing says, are. from another world. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who. You know why? CBS Cash. CBS Cash. <laughs> That's right. Chris Hardwick, everybody. Remember right now. Beautiful and talented actress who has not been on this show for too long. I wish I could say that about myself. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable Jolie Fisher, everybody. Jolie Fisher. Well, I am a small, waif-like, demure lesbian. Knock, knock it off with that. Knock it off with that. You're, I, I know you. You've got, you've got uh, a husband who's a dude, and, uh, and you've got, uh, <laughs> and you got well, how many kids you got now? Six, seven, eight? Five. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's busy. Yeah. Two came with the deal, and then two came out of my deal. <laughs> and, um, and then I adopted a child. Really? Uh, two you adopted years ago. Oh, I did. No. Did you go for uh, Did you go for show business adoption from an interesting uh, war torn country or oh something God, a bit closer no. to No, it's called domestic adoption. I went to South Central. <laughs> like I say, a war torn country. <laughs> and, uh, no, really, you adopted a, a kid. I did. From, do you know Do you know the family you've adopted the child from? Or no? uh, I I met her biological mother. Right. And, Bob um, Saget. <laughs> In my pants. Yeah. You, no, you don't want that. Oh, no, 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 no. Bob was here a couple of nights ago, and he's in great shape. If he gets it, oh, yeah, he's. Did a, we see all of that? Yeah, no, but yeah, we saw. We, yes, we saw. Yeah, we saw Bob's penis. Well, I've seen it. So. Have you really? Yeah. No. You have. No, I have. You have. <laughs> Did you date Bob Saget? No, I did not. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. He directed me in a movie, though. 
And He's what did chick. he direct you He's with? A chick. He is not a guy. <laughs> Go over there, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to run in that direction. <laughs> what was the movie that Bob directed you in? It was a Lifetime movie called Jitters that I'm super proud of. And it Jitters. was uh, many, many years ago. About Jitters about uh, before you get married. And it was actually just about right before I was to get married myself. Did you get the Jitters before you got married? As the character? No, or no, no, you, me? you. Um, you know what? I didn't. I more have them now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's 14 about, years. 14 years? You yes. Mean, I, I in remember. show business, you get like some sort of a medal for that. It's a lot, yeah. It's yeah. a lot. But, oh, we, but we, like you, have, you know, other people that we sleep with, so. Oh, no. But I don't, no, I don't do that. Oh, you were kidding. No, no, yeah, I was kidding. Oh, I just let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, do, so you're a swinger? <laughs> Do you go to those swinger parties wouldn't in Malibu be, with wouldn't people? Wouldn't that be so fun if I was? It, it, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It, it would. I'd be like, let's see what you got. No. <laughs> oh, my mother's going to kill me. No, no. Your mother's been here. She was She's like, been... be elegant, Jolie. Why no, do you have to have no. that mouth? Not on this show. If you, if you're oh, that's right. If, yes. you're here, if you were elegant here, you, everyone would be like, one of these things is not like the other. You know what I mean? <laughs> It wouldn't work. <laughs> you are elegant. You look lovely. Thank with you your, very much. I like your jacket. It's kind of business but Thank sexy. You. It's like ratty um, uh, librarian. I, I, well, I like a librarian. Mm -hmm. But ratty. Well, I like filthy. Filthy. Uh, yeah, fil filthy. Filthy is Filthy good. librarian. Look like, at the I shoes. Yeah, okay. Ooh, look at that. Hey, look, that's some ink you got there. Yeah. What's that? I have ink everywhere. Don't really? look. Yes. No, there's nothing wrong with having I'm ink. I'm a tattooed lady. Do you have a tramp stamp? Uh, you know, a little... A little round You know back? what? I don't like to call it that. Well, but clearly it, you do goes, have one then. It, so. <laughs> it actually goes all the way down my back. Really? What, what, down my spine. What does it depict? Um, it's, it's Bob really. Shaggy. No. <laughs> does it? You, you know have what? a tattoo of Bob Saget? <laughs> You're welcome, Internet Rumor Mill. <laughs> Um, it actually is uh, probably le uh, more spiritual than it is dirty and nasty whore like. Yeah. Um, it says How daughter. Disappointing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> daughter, mother, sister, and it's my children's names. Oh, and, and they're does all it say in, in English? Chinese. Oh, no, in Chinese. You know, because I'm I'm Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you speak or read Chinese? Just those letters that are on my back. Wow. <laughs> and you're but absolutely <laughs> sure that's what it says. <laughs> Brad Garrett used to like to bend me over the table and order off the menu. <laughs> yeah. You know. Hey, now, where have you been that, that's exciting then around the world that's not Australia? Because if, for me, it's Australia, Canada, and the United States. Where Canada? Else you that's it, yeah. Okay. Um, I went to Africa recently. Really? I'm the, Which part? Um, the, Mozambique. I'm the ambassador for Save the Children. Really? Um, and I had an incredible experience, once again, to make it more serious here, which right. clearly you can't do. Right. <laughs> And um, I spent a lot of time with uh, the, the lovely children of Mozambique, and it changed my life. And then I came back and adopted a child from here. Right. So that's why lots of people... Yeah, yeah. Right. My uh, Where does Bob Saget fit in all of this, then? <laughs> I don't quite get where Bob fits Wherever in. he wants. Yeah. <laughs> you know Bob and I have the same birthday? Do you? Yeah, we do. 17th of May. Every 17th of May, Bob calls me up, and his joke is that Enya has the same birthday as uh, he and myself. Oh, that's and so awesome. we go, hoo ha, hoo ha. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we stopped doing it on the phone. He comes here and we do it on the show now. That's great. Yeah, fills the time. <laughs> I'd love to come next time. May 7th. So. Wow, I'd get it. May. <laughs> love to have a nickel for every time I've heard a woman say that. <laughs> You'd have a nickel? Uh, not even. Uh, yeah. So listen, uh, we're out of time. But oh gosh, that yeah, no, was goes fast. fast. Yeah, if I had a nickel for every time I had a woman say that. Got it. All right. Uh, so we have to be thinking uh, mouth organ or awkward pause is what I'm thinking. I'm sorry? Mouth organ. Well, you know, I don't have a band or any support oh. or even a technical backup from CBS. <laughs> so... I thought that they cared. No, no, that's, no, no. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the robot. I like the crew, except perhaps Michael. I like everybody. <laughs> that, I like the crew, but I, but CBS, as a, you know, as an entity, don't really care <laughs> about me. They care about you, the viewer. <laughs>
applaud that. It just makes you sound stupid. <laughs> I'm feeling awkward pause would awkward be the pause, right way to go. Awkward pause, organ. Have you ever blown a mouth organ? Come on, you must give it a shot. Okay. No! <laughs> Why not? You can give it a try. Just okay. a little a little atmospheric blow. Okay. And it's fresh. It Are hasn't you going to do it too? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you can unwrap it so my fingers are not even... I see your... Uh... Wow, look at this. Yeah, we skate on that. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that, man. Look at geez, 14 geez. years. Come yeah, on, people. Yeah. I put in my time. Yeah. Go, go, did you get that for the 14th year? 10th. 10th year? Mm -hmm. I don't know what happens after this. This is probably. After that? This I know what happens after that. <laughs> <laughs> that turns up and it's like, kids, go to bed. And, it, and mouth organ. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably a mouth organ after that. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. After three. Three. Oh, you're worse than I am. <laughs> A lovely jolly fisher, everybody. you lovely Americans look at you lovely and American and happy and polite uh, I know that got a laugh because no one's ever told you that before have they no one has ever told you in the history of you being Americans that you're polite people you have no idea <laughs> like, you think we're the polite ones we are not we are mean-spirited arrogant people but we sound delightful <laughs> just got here as well. It was a 12-hour flight. It's half a day. Half a day stuck in the same seat with nothing to do but watch TV on demand and eat and drink and nap. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, I loved it. It was a day doing nothing with no guilt. Nowhere else I could be. Phone didn't work. Computer only had an hour of battery and I couldn't recharge mine because I was in economy class. We don't get trusted with electricity. <laughs> You know that, right? Now the expensive seats get little power sockets, but economy, well, we can't give the poor people electricity. <laughs> I mean, they'll probably start shaving each other. <laughs> Look at them disgusting creatures. We give them food, but none of it goes in their mouths. <laughs> I've been traveling so much. I was in Finland. Uh, they took me to this restaurant in Finland where they serve reindeer. It's weird, right? <laughs> yeah, any of you guys ever eaten an animal you didn't think existed? <laughs> I genuinely thought they were just the magical things that Santa had. I had no idea. <laughs> That's peculiar. I found on the same day, reindeer are real and delicious. <laughs> How was that? You shouldn't be learning biology from a menu, should you? <laughs> What's for dessert? The Tooth Fairy? <laughs> Lego Mr. Tumnus? Where is this? What is this place? <laughs> You're killing my childhood. <laughs> my awkward, weird childhood. <laughs> Was I was an awkward kid. I was that kid. I, I was little. I had, was far-sighted. I had a lazy eye. <laughs> yeah. Do you know the treatment? For, thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that pity laugh. Do you, do you know the treatment for a lazy eye? Anyone? It's a patch. <laughs> you put a patch over the other non-lazy eye to make the lazy eye not lazy. <laughs> That's it. That's the best that science has come up with. That's all we've got in the 21st century. That's the best we've managed. That's amazing, isn't it? That's like something a Victorian nanny would come up with, isn't it? Like, no, don't help the other eye. I can never learn. If that eye can't fend for itself by now, it'll never be able to. Hit the lazy eye. Hit it. Punish it. And when you're a kid with a lazy eye, your parents try and dress that up as a good thing, don't they? Because they, they love you. They want to make it into a positive. They're like, oh, look at you, you lucky thing. You get to have an eye patch. That's cool, isn't it? You 
You're like a pirate. <laughs> I knew who's our little pirate. <laughs> Even as a ten-year-old, you know you look nothing like a pirate. <laughs> pirate's eye patches are black, they've got a skull and crossbones and a bit of elastic. That's what pirates have worn for centuries. <laughs> Kids with lazy eye eye patches are beige, <laughs> adhesive, <laughs> And if you're really lucky, if you want to look like the 10-year-old with class, they will stick it to the front of your glasses. <laughs> I know, right? As if it's not bad enough you're the glasses kid, right? <laughs> now they're accessorized. <laughs> it's like, sorry, kiddo, you're going to need leg braces. But don't worry, we'll put some blinky lights on the side of them. Just, <laughs> just so everyone can see which way you're going to topple. <laughs> You know what they look like? You know what the lazy eye, eye uh, patches look like? You know when you get the Band-Aid multi-packs, like the different shapes and sizes of Band-Aids, but there's that one massive one left over <laughs> that no one has ever used <laughs> for the very simple reason that any injury big enough to be covered by it <laughs> is far too severe <laughs> for just a Band-Aid. Who's ever used that in the history of the world? Like, oh my God, I've been shot. I've been shot. <laughs> We're going to need the big one. Get the big Band-Aid. <laughs> But I don't care, just rip it off the kid's face! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been an absolute delight. Thank you so much for listening to me. Take care. I'm Matt Kirshen. Thank you very much. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Yeah, so it's all right, no animals were harmed or even involved in that. Uh... Annie, you know how you were on at the start of the show with the, uh, with the rabbit? Yes, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Annie, you've, uh, you've never seen this show before, have you? <laughs> you? You have no idea who I am, Annie, do you? <laughs> no, I, I think that's okay, though. I think that's all right. I, 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 you know what? I'm glad I think it's all right, because you're in the majority. <laughs> <laughs> then why did, you, why did you come, though, to a television show? You don't know who's... Well, my grandma loved you. Oh. <laughs> my I see. Is, is she still with us, your grandma? No. <laughs> okay. So you couldn't bring her while she was still alive, yes. <laughs> To win. <laughs> when I heard I was coming, then I learned that my grandma loved you. <laughs> ah, I see. I see where you're going. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 terrible. But no, you're no, you're so funny. I'm happy to be here, and thank you very much. You're patronizing me. No. <laughs> no, really. Did you have a good time? I did. I All did. Right, I did. Yeah. But no, Steve, now don't do that clapping thing. <laughs> Well, you know, people do that, I think, because when you watch uh, game shows, people do that. When they win stuff, they always clap, don't I, they? But you haven't won anything here. Anyway. But I love game shows. Well, I like a game show, too. But yeah, what game show is your favorite? Um, well, I like Price is Right. Oh, and yeah, yeah. I like some old school ones, Wait, too. Match, do you, do you like, game. now here's the question. Do you like fat Drew Carey or thin Drew Carey? That's the question. Mm, I, I occasionally I, throw one out there. I know. Andrew Carey, if he would cut his hair. Yeah. Hair? Yeah, I, mean, I think I mean, that's fair. I, I, I like him healthy, but I want him to cut his hair. That's all. Yeah, I think that what happened was that when he got thin, his hair is the same length, but he got thin, <laughs> and it just, it appears longer. That makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, whenever I lose weight, my hair seems to appear longer, but isn't. <laughs> I don't know if you, my hair's going gray. Did you notice? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say it. Yeah. No, it's nice. It's salt and pepper. It's beautiful, actually. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I do. Yeah, I, see, this, here's my problem. You say something genuine, and they just laugh. And they think I know. you're funny. I know. I mean it. Yeah, I see? It. See? <laughs> anyway, I was wondering if you'd like to take over the show, because I'm <laughs> done with it. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> good night, everybody. Say good night.